for me, Tina.com with my daily recap. Today's Monday, so I want to say happy Monday. Audio should be a little better. Visual should be a little bit better because I am no longer on the road. Uh, Dallas was actually a lot of fun. My first time out there, I enjoyed myself. So shout out to everyone that is from Dallas. Uh, they say... Um, you know, they speak about Southern hospitality for a reason. I had a good time out there. Anyway, uh, nice day in the market, right? Uh, but before we do that, you know I like to welcome you. I'm a bit all over the place today, a little frazzled. Anyway, uh, so before we jump into a recap of the overall market, I would like to welcome you. So if this is your first time tuning into a short me, Tina video, I'd like to say welcome. Do me a solid in the comments section. Drop me a comment, thumbs up this video, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. So again, right now what you see on your screen is the SPY S&P 500 daily chart dating back to 2017. Huge move on the day uh, with the SPY once again hitting all-time highs going as high as uh, 313. 37, like I said, it's very, very hard to argue with a bull market, or it's very hard to be bearish when the market is sitting at all time highs. So, we had two instances in which the market experienced about a five to six percent sell off after the Fed issued rate cuts. We had it here in uh, July, then once again in September. Kind of started off that way in October, but the market reversed and just started trending up. And every week for the past uh, three to four weeks, we have been making all time highs. So extremely bullish in the market. The move that I'm really, really uh, excited about is this huge move. Let me zoom in right here. This huge move that occurred today in the IWM. Again, this is a daily chart. Uh, we're up about 2% on the day. Closed at 161.58. I've been waiting for this move for such a long time. Again, it's a daily chart dating back to 2017. Uh, if we go back to October of 2018, so for an entire year, actually a little bit over a year, for over a year, the market has not traded up above that 160 level with any level of sustainability. Today, we did that in a fierce way. The best word that I can use, we did that today in a very fierce way. Look at the volume pouring in. We just, like, we just pounded that level, like, almost like someone was just really angry, like, just get above. Finally, one as high as 161.83, pull back to close at 161.58. If I'm not mistaken, we have not closed this high, uh, again, dating back to October of 2018. So this is an all-time high closing in the IWM within the past year. So huge move. So it's not about the moves, right? It's usually always about sustainability. Can we sustain this move? Uh, obviously, time will tell, but um, I think it's looking so, so far so good for the market. Um, so that's what I'm paying attention to with the IWM. Again, we made a nice huge move on the day. It just needs to remain above 160. If you can do that, I think the bulls are ready to come back charging like they always do. What else? All right, so we're going to wrap it up and round it out with ticker SRNE daily chart. A small cap winner on the day. Stock is up about uh, north of 100% on the day. I think it's up an additional uh, 6 or so percent. I think I see a quote or a last quote of around $3.25. Uh, again, this is a daily chart. Obviously, you can see buyers stepping in. Closed at 311, high of the day 319. So not only did we fill this gap here back in June, this uh, gap that was established about four months ago, we actually surpassed that gap to go as high as 319 before pulling back to close at uh, 311. So we closed relatively close to the high of the day, which is a good signal for me, especially considering the IWM is doing what it's doing. So heading into tomorrow, if you're long, thinking to get long, or you're asking yourself whether or not you should hold your long position, you always want to pay attention to obviously what is going on in pre-market, right? So if you wake up tomorrow and the stock is actually trading up, right? It's above 311, it's above 325, 330, etc. Then that shows you that momentum is actually picking up uh, and the bulls actually want to continue this run. If however, if however, when you wake up tomorrow, you check your quote, the stock is actually trading down. That's not a good sign. So if you're on the sidelines, thinking whether or not you should hold your position, you want to pay attention to where the stock actually opens up and what's going on in pre-market. Anything above 311, I think it's a good sign. Obviously, you want to pay attention to accompanying volume. If that happens, I can see um, the stock doesn't really run into resistance until it gets to that like 350 
four dollar area. So there's still potential upside with ticker. Tick, uh, pardon. There's still potential upside with ticker S R N E. I'm not sure what happened there. Anyway, uh, so that's kind of my take, uh, and we are going to cap it there. Tina here once again from shortmetina.com. If you enjoyed any portion of that video, I'd like for you to do three things for me. One, comment in the comment section. What do you think about the movement in the market today? IWM spy. How about ticker SRNE? Are you involved? Again, comment in the comment section. First thing. Two, I do videos daily. So ensure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel at Short Me Tina. And lastly, I'm gonna make it really quick, my friend. Lastly, I've been training for a long time. Over 15 years, closer to 20, like I say, that's north of two decades. So if you think you can learn anything from me, and I give a lot away for free, definitely head on over to our website, shortmetina.com. Sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening, and as always, thank you for